Hello, Terraria enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So today's episode is all go, go, go. I'm currently chilling in the Crimson Biome because I'm waiting around for that little thing that lets you get the Perforator fight again. I've been, like, chilling in there for days, and I don't seem to get anything. It's really frustrating. So, that aside, I also made some changes to the character based on your suggestions. Now, I did record this, but I completely scrapped my recording of it because I'm like, I don't know, I have to keep taking breaths while I actually chat and stuff because of the cough and the cold and blah, blah, blah. I could go on about it all day, but I'm not gonna. So I scrapped the recording of it anyway, but I made some aero spec armor. I made the mage set. So basically what you guys recommended me to use for this. And I also went ahead, reforged some accessories. And I think that's about it. I don't think I changed much else. I think that's literally it. Oh, and I also fought the Brain of Cthulhu, because I thought, why not? And I was going to get the Brain of Confusion from the Brain of Cthulhu and combine it with the one that I got the other day, the, the, the purple variant. But it doesn't combine until hard mode, so I was a little bit gutted about that. I thought it would be best to transition into the next day because it was getting a little bit late in Terraria. So I sat around, and here we are. Nice little transition, right? So I got a comment, and it's not from you guys. It's actually from somebody on the Calamity team. And I wanted to actually answer it publicly so that they know my response. So the question was from DM Dokaru, and this is the dude that makes all of the Calamity music. And oh my god, I am such a fan of these songs. They are really good. And when I talk about how good modded Terraria is to people that don't play Terraria anymore, I say there are mods out there that have real musicians making music for them and they sound amazing. So he asked on his community tab on his YouTube channel, uh, he asked it to me and, and somebody else, about music, which ones we like and which ones we don't. And I left a comment, but it was it was way too late. I don't think he's going to see it. So here's my answer. I really like every song that's on the Calamity soundtrack. And that's the truth. I really do. Even the April Fool's one. I really like them and I have my favorites. So my favorites are Crabulon. I think it's so upbeat and I really like the sound of like maracas in the background. It sounds like maracas. Um, I really like the Plague Bringer Goliath theme. I like the DOG theme. And I really like the like peaceful music that comes in the abyss. So I like all of the songs, of course. But the reason why I prefer those over certain ones, it's not because the other ones are like worse. It's because some of the other ones are not my genre. So a lot of them are like very heavy... Uh, I don't know what you'd say. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It's, it's not metal, is it? I don't, I won't class it as metal. I don't know the official name for it, but they're, they're a little bit like, they fit into the heavy genre of music. And I've, I've never been the biggest fan of heavy genre, honestly. Um, even when I was younger. I'm more into like, I don't know, rap and pop. I don't know. <laughs> and honestly, I like everything though, to be fair. But heavy is not my favorite. So that's why they're not as... Up there with the rest. So, buff up. I'm all go today, guys. I'm all go. Are you ready? Right. Let's do this. I've got aims. I've got ambitions. And I'm going to do this today. I really am. I know it. I just know it. Because I deserve this. Right? I got absolutely knocked around yesterday. And I need to redeem myself. And avoid those skulls. So, I was looking back at the footage. And the skulls appear... While he's doing the spinny... Oh, I'm, I need to zoom out. While he's doing the spinny phase. So that's what I've got to learn to avoid, essentially. I'm not doing this very well. I need to get in a better rhythm. Right, the skull's going to appear. There you go. Oh, well, that wasn't very good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I need to work on this right hand a little bit more. Right, I am going to heal up. Oh, no. I'm taking a lot of damage. But I'm also doing a lot of damage. Like, I'm noticing that for sure. Okay, skulls should... Right, I was going to say. I was going to say the skull should be popping out all the time now, but no. Just got to be a little bit more careful. I just got to keep telling myself, be careful. Right, skulls are out all the time now. Is that one hand or is that two? Is it one or two? Oh, God. They do so much damage, those skulls. It's, like, kind of ridiculous. Whoa, there we go. I love the uh, the counter scarf in the Calamity mod. It's so good. Okay. Because I feel like it's like the perfect spacing almost for the skulls. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. 
Oh, I was, I was going to say, I would love to get an adrenaline hit because I'm doing pretty well. I really like it when um, you start getting, like, upgrades to your adrenaline. Like, basically, like, shortening the time that you have to wait. This is it, guys. This is the victory. It is. It just is. Whoa, nice. So, I was asking you guys about Doctor Who yesterday. And I found out something really strange. I can't remember if I said this in the video or not. So, I'm just going to repeat myself. But apparently, in Britain, we got an outro credit song. And then in America, they edited it out, like, for no reason. So all the Americans were like, hey, why did they never play an outro? They did. They just never aired it in your country for no reason. And then Australian people let me know that it comes out on Monday where they live. So it's a day behind, unfortunately, but that's just time zones for you. And that's strange because Australia is, like, ahead of Britain, not behind. So I feel like Australia have been really kind of, like, screwed over so, poor Whovians in Australia, I do feel for you. Okay. This fight is going on quite a bit, so I guess we just talk about Doctor Who some more. Um, there's actually nothing really to say. My plan completely worked, by the way. I told you guys about my whiteboard plan yesterday, that I'm going to start working on whiteboard videos. And that's what I did. I got up today super early, and I just had such a such a great day. I um, <laughs> It's quite funny, actually. I was meeting Python for coffee, and I was like... I was, just, I was like, getting ready and stuff, and I heard this like large bang from my bedroom, and my bedroom has an ensuite like shower built into it, like a shower bathroom on the side of the bedroom. It's really good. I, I think it's ace. Um, I always wanted an ensuite when I was a kid. Um, but anyway, I heard this loud bang, and what had happened is the holder that holds the shower head on, it's like completely crumbled to dust, and the loud bang was the like shower collapsing. So. Like, just before I was about to meet Python, like, my just shower just broke. I was like, oh, God. Like, I have to, I had to now worry about fixing this. And I didn't have a car on me because, um, you know, my partner took the car for a first day of work and that. So we obviously didn't know, um, you know, what time she'd be doing, whatever else. And, you know. But anyway, so Python was super chill and actually, like, drove me around to, like, B&Q and stuff like that so I could repair it. And it's actually really ironic because I helped him fit a shower literally, like, two weeks ago. So for him to, like, have to help me fit a shower not that long after, it's quite funny, really. It's a bit ironic. Oh, God. Oh, God. My health was so low then. Oh, wow. We did it, boys. We did it. You know what that was? Positive attitude. Positive attitude. And lots of nice comments from you guys. So I asked you about what happens in the aquatic depths, and I got a little bit of a response. Essentially, I need a shadow key. So what I'm going to do is, in today's video, I am going to get a shadow key and go down into there just to see if we can find anything new. I don't know what has changed. I know that you can get really awesome weapons down there. I know that it's a, a good biome. I don't know if I said abyss or aquatic depths. If I say aquatic depths, don't take offense. <laughs> I'm just bad with names. You know me. Okay. So yeah, I do want to go down there and see what's, see what's about. Ooh, I've said this many a time, and people have gotten back to me many a time about this. But I've never understood why mods don't add stuff to these golden chests. Like, I just don't get it. Add some stuff to the golden chests. Make it more useful coming down here. But then again, Calamity does add literally so much stuff to the dungeon. It's really good. So yeah, the whiteboard thing really worked. I worked on a video. It's out now, so it's, you, you'll already seen it. But I wrote down this idea because of a, a tweet that I got. And the tweet was essentially like, James, I want to turn Terraria into an RPG. How do I do it? And I was like, okay. And I listed off a few mods. And it just got me really inspired. I was like, I'm going to make that into a video because people want to know about stuff like that. And especially during the time when updates are not coming out as frequently, people want to know what they can do when they're bored. Like, some of my most performing videos have been videos about what to do when you're bored. Because it's true, like, you can be so passionate about a game, and every now and again you do need to spice things up. So, like, for me, I play mods all the time. Absolutely love them. But a lot of people don't have time to really, like, sieve through mods, and they want, like, a nice recommendation. So that's why I make videos for people that are bored, essentially. And I like doing that. I feel useful. I need a golden key. Can I have a golden key, please? I'm glad we got the Muramasa. Muramasa does turn into something else, I believe, in Kalamei. But we'll have to see. That's a bit of a guess. Can I please have a golden key? I feel like they don't drop very frequently from the enemies themselves anymore. I feel like they used to drop a lot more frequently from enemies. But no.
Oh, golden key, golden key. Right. Aqua Scepter. I love the Aqua Scepter, so I'm happy to have it. I'm going to use it for a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm getting really weird enemies now. Uh, I don't know if I've like, entered into Hell Layer or something. I think I have. Soul Slurper. Yeah, what's going on with that? Something's clearly going wrong. So I actually broke my minimap, and it was my fault this time. I was like messing around with mods earlier, and I accidentally clicked on my world, and it just broke everything. Like it really did. Like I was like, oh, great. Okay, so let's get rid of this stuff here, and then I need to put some other stuff away. Bam. And I'll put this away as well. Actually, I'm going to take a little look at the crafting recipes real quick. Muramasa, you turn into the Bloody Edge. So that's not, that's not modded at all. Well, the Knight's Edge turns into the True Knight's Edge, which turns into the Terror Blade, which then turns into the Terratoma. So technically, I'm doing well. Open this up. I got a Bone Glove and Skeletron Mask. So nothing really good. I'm going to go farm in the, uh, the dungeon now. Yeah. All right, so this is a little bit like being in one of Toad's houses in a Mario game. I've got three golden chests, and one of them will hopefully contain a Shadow Keeper. Which one? Right, we'll go for the middle. Oh, Magic Missile. Okay, the one on the left. Hey, look at that. Shadow Key. First try. <laughs> um, cool. Nice. All right, what was in the other one then? Oh, it was a Splunk Potion and a Muramasa. Okay, cool. Back to the homeland. So I've got a lot of junk to sort out. And then we're gonna do the abyss. All right, let's let's uh, let's see how this goes. So I've got my Arctic diving gear. I'm gonna equip it. So I'll replace it with the sunstone. And then I do believe I need to buy like, let's go and uh, let's see. So I'll buy flippers. I'll buy, what's the breathing one? I always forget, oh, gills. I'll buy gills. So I'll buy these two. I need Shine and Night Owl, so I've got those. And then is there anything else I can buy? Maybe not. Oh, now that I've killed Skeletron, I can now buy Wrath and Rage Potions. So that's useful to know. And I can also buy all of these from Calamity. So I'll buy Sunshine. That will help me out. Oh, this is a non-Calamity buff. Oh, I tapped out of Terraria. <laughs> hey, one sec, let me do the finger test. There you go. I'll know if I've synced up my audio now. Um, so yeah, that's a non-calamity buff. I don't, I don't really mind. <laughs> they added that in because of me. I see a lot of people ask about that. It's because I was dumb and I didn't realize what they were. Right, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to check this dude. Cool. Right, so I feel like I should be ready. We'll give this a go. Got to open up some stuff, open up some chests and stuff. I can't remember exactly what you get. I don't know if this first tier is all about, like, getting stuff to, I don't know, craft into stuff later on, or, or whatever else. I don't really know. We'll see. We're heading over there now. Yeah, I do think the breathing rod might help. I'm not too sure. I can't remember if you die or get poisoned in the aquatic depths, or the abyss, sorry. Right, I'm going to use my ability uh, of armor to quickly fall down, or fall down a little bit quicker. Oh, I really should have put a splunker on. Right, I don't know if this is how it's meant to generate anymore. Because before, they used to get huts. Oh, here they are. Okay. Right. Lionfish. Okay, can I grab this? I can't grab this yet. Maybe you guys can let me know when I can grab that. Okay, so this is a herring staff. Oh, I like that. Let me get rid of my imps. Let's get all herrings out here. Nice. I also got a sunken stew. That's really cool. I like that. Sunken stew. That's unique. The only problem is now I can't tell what, what's my summon and what's not. Alright, well that's clearly not my summon. My summons are keeping me alive, thankfully. Okay, I got a ball of fungu. This is new to me. A lot of this is actually very new to me. I don't remember the herring staff, unless it looked a little bit different. Once again, I, I've said this before, but Calamity changes sprites like all, almost all the time. Okay, now I need to breathe, so... Ooh, iron boots. I remember those. They actually turn into something else. 
Oh, oh, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. All right, we're going to be all right. All right, we're going to be all right. Just a big boy. Okay, we got the black. Andrium. Cool, cool. Oh, awesome. And a great name as well. Very readable. Okay, these are doing 96 damage. So I'm just going to keep going until I die, by the way, guys. I'm not going to, like, um, back out at some point and just be like, oh, it's too much. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, I got killed by a giant squiddy. A squiddy diddy. Okay, that's cool. That's all right. I, I had a great time in there. It looks ace. It's better than before. I do feel like it's less predictable where the stuff's going to be. Right, lionfish. Amazing. It gives debuffs, right? This is really good for um, Slime God, if I remember correctly. Now, I can't shoot this because I haven't got any bullets, but this is really ace. I like this too. Let's go and um, let's go and buy some bullets. Have I got a an arms dealer? Oh, I don't actually have an arms dealer. Okay, that's unfortunate. We'll save that for another day. I've got my herring staff. I've got my ball of fungu. Ooh, I like the ball of fungu. And the sunken stew is really good. I think that's a really neat addition. Right. Well, that is it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like rating. It's always much appreciated. And thank you for being here with me as I battle my greatest demon, Skeletron, and getting up early in the morning in the shower. All right, peace out, guys. Bye.